Cross Live. We come to you from the campus of Paul the Sixth in Chantilly, Virginia. Booker Corrigan alongside the great Hall of Famer George T. Corrigan Jr. For the Blue Hens, J.P. Ward kind of stirs the drink for them. Yeah, J.P. has had a great year this year, Booker. Uh, I, I, you know that I called the Penn game against Delaware earlier. J.P. can get to the goal, he can pass, he sees the field well, and he's an excellent finisher with both hands. So J.P. has really been, it's been a great year for him both as a scorer and as a person that sees the ball and sees the field well. And he's a guy who's approaching some milestones as well. You talk about milestones, Mason Cohn at the faceoff dot for Syracuse. What a weapon for them. It's made a huge difference this year. Uh, you know, you, you and I have both known Gary Gate a long time. Syracuse wants to play offense. They want to score goals and make stuff happen. That starts at the faceoff X. Mason has been, and they played really tough opponents. He's still been able to win a ton of faceoffs and then transfers the ball very quickly and very nicely to their offense. And Powell across brings us our players to watch. In goal for Delaware, Kevin Ellington out of a Loyola Blakefield. He's going to be one to watch because he's going to see some rubber today. He's going to see plenty of rubber for sure. And, you know, also there it mentions Mike Robinson, who's a Canadian lefty finisher who's a really, really strong left-handed catch-and-shoot guy. And for Syracuse, Luke Roa out of neighboring Potomac, Maryland. He's a star. And then from California, Jake Stevens. There, there's so many stars on this field. This is a good one. Yeah, both great midfielders, not to mention Joey Spelina. Uh, yes. So you know, you've got uh, in both teams really, really great players. I think Kevin Ellington's going to be the key to the game today. If he can make a lot of saves, it's going to make a huge difference for Delaware. And both, both teams loaded with talent. A ton of talent on the field. We'll be back with the opening faceoff right after this as we have a great matchup in Chantilly, Virginia. It's a beautiful day for lacrosse. Day for lacrosse, two top 20 teams coming at it as we see the goaltenders come out and shake hands. Kevin Ellington and Mason, excuse me, Will Mark. Facing off for Delaware, number 37, O.J. Morris. And of course, we highlighted him in the open. Mason Cone, he's going to do a great job for Syracuse, and he has done it all year. So much talent from around the country. George, we're ready for a great game. Two top 20 teams. It's a beautiful, it's an absolutely cracker of a day. It's a beautiful sunny day, great day for lacrosse. Two really good teams. Should be a great game to call and a great game to watch. Delaware comes away with the first and a little couple of crazy Ivans there in the middle of the field. Great ground ball pickup by number 44. That is Joe Spears. And here come the Blue Hens. Head coach Ben DeLuca has done a fabulous job with them throughout his time. And of course, Gary Gate back in his old stomping grounds, the head coach of the Syracu Syracuse Orange. Great to see Gary Gate. Uh, you and I have both known Gary for a very, very long time. And uh, he's got a great team. They're, they're, they can play offense. Their defense is really playing well. They're getting good goaltending. It's just great to see Gary doing so well. J.P. Ward with possession right now, and he gets it quickly to Robinson. So Booker early, Robinson's being covered by a short stick there, which I find a little surprising, um, and something Delaware could really look to take advantage of. He's left-handed, Robinson. He's an excellent finisher, Canadian, and if they can get the ball to him in open spots, it could really open some things up for them. Outside shot handled by goaltender Will Mark for the orange and they will look to clear. Syracuse in the home white on white. Delaware in the highlighter yellow jerseys with the blue shorts. Looking sharp. Syracuse gets the clear and is headed for offense. It's going to be interesting early because, you know, as you know, Syracuse is an excellent offensive team. They generate a lot of shots and a lot of momentum. It's going to be really important for Kevin Ellington and Delaware to play well and make saves early to create his confidence and play his way into the game. Great play in the middle of the field. Diagonal pass. Another one. And another one. I felt like DJ Khaled right there. And another one. Backed up by Spalina. The shot by Michael Leo. Leo comes in today with 14 goals on the year. He can sling it. Great ball movement. 
Spalina inside feed. That goes to the turf, and Ellington will look to acquire it on his own end line, and he is in peril for a quick moment, but he gets it to Tate Wasson. Good look there by Joey. Uh, there was a left-handed cutter coming from behind. It was sneaking, as they say, that sneak cut from behind. Uh, and it looked actually fairly open. The ball just, 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 it just got dropped, but I thought a nice look inside by Joey. Number 34, Hank D'Ambrosi, the Fairfield transfer with three goals, two assists on the season. He has been a tremendous addition to Coach Ben DeLuca's Blue Hens. Had a great chance to catch up with Coach DeLuca. One of the great men in our sport, and we're blessed with a lot of them. Curry comes off the pick. And D'Ambrosi looking inside, rolls back, little crazy Ivan on goal line extended, rolls back again. Hot shot! Hey, D'Ambrosi, how you like me now? It's a really nice play by Hank D'Ambrosi. He's, he's got his man on that far side of the field. He tried to show top side, show top side. Then he created that little spin down the back side, which created a little bit of space for him. He's left handed. He holds it away from the player, shows it the last second, and scores left-handed. Really, really nice play by Hank. You'll see it here where he's, he's going to bring it down, shows topside again, and then slips underneath, waits, goal. It's really, really good stick protection, good execution. Gets some great ground covered on the sharp angle shot. Come with the face-off win momentarily. And you see how hard it is to dislodge the ball these days from these sticks. I couldn't believe that ball didn't come out yep. to me. <laughs> And a kick saved by Kevin Ellington. That's a big one. And now we're going a little bit of half transition, half slow it down. McCurry out of Wall, New Jersey. will slow things down. The other observation I had, Booker, and I had the pen game earlier against Delaware. Went to the very last second. Uh, and a shot went, went off the post for Delaware. Would have tied the game and forced overtime. They're very left-handed. Um, a lot of the midfielders on Delaware, number 20, Kolar, D'Ambrogi, they have a lot of left-handed players coming out of the midfield. Here comes J.P. Ward. Nice feed, nice release on the shot, backed up effectively by Rowan Marshall. Marcel wraparound shot held on the pipe very nicely. I thought he could have kept coming. I thought he had plenty more space there and shot it a little bit early, right? If you keep coming, it increases your angle more. It's a much more effective shot. So I, I think it could have kept coming in that particular situation. Jackson Birch whistle out of Radnor, Pennsylvania. And at midfield now for the Orange. And Luke Roa, somewhat of a local product here out of Potomac, Maryland. Birch whistle, as you know, Coached by the great John Beezer, yep. one of our old pals at Radnor High School who recently had a great career retired. Oh. <laughs> and there you have it. You can't give Joey Spillina that kind of time to find a cutter, especially when everybody's looking to cut. Yeah, you'll see the play here again. Uh, Syracuse has a lot of players that can really finish. This is Owen Hiltz. Uh, you, know, you leave Joey in a situation like that, he's going to find somebody. This is a really good cut and catch finish. Um, just very effectively done and, and very, you know, just very smooth and effective. Here comes the play. Here's Joey. Here comes Hiltz off a pick. Catch, finish. Really good lacrosse. He came all the way around those picks. Oh, what else is 16th goal of the year? And here's D'Ambrosi back in. This time running with Matt Accion. D'Ambrosi now draws the long stick after one dunk. Pull back, throw back. And a quick shot. But will mark equal to the task. If you saw that shot, Booker, uh, it came out from a low stick, and it was a low shot. It felt to me like Will Mark was almost already in position as the ball was approaching. He, he saw it all the way. He was low. Was kind of an easy save to grab him on the screen. Token save. Michael Leo, number seven, now in the game, along with Finn Thompson up the midfield. 
And of course, Sam English, nine goals and one assist on the year so far. And the orange go for the invert. Once again, all six offensive players moving. So they're coming from invert against short sticks here. Boy, they move the ball nicely. Oh, great. nice save by Kevin Ellington. Great save. Wow. And now we're going to get a whistle. Referee Carmen D. John Domenico. Trying to spread guys out a little bit. Maceo Parker, now the other official, comes in. And that was interference against Delaware. It's going to be Syracuse possession. There's a little extracurricular action sure. there after the play. I was a little surprised there wasn't a time serve penalty called, but uh, it's just a simple award of the ball to Syracuse, and they're going to retain possession. Christian Moulet inverts, guarded by John Schievert. Moulet roll back, dunk, and refs nodding his head. They're going to count it. That was a close one. Great move by, by Christian Ule. You know, it seems like they're content right now to come from behind against short sticks with their best offensive players. He kind of gets that leverage there on that left-handed side and spins down the backside, makes a great play there to score for the Qs. Great action, two to one your score here. College lacrosse alive. live from Chantilly, Virginia. We had a great high school game prior to this. We also had the champion game. He's talking about champions. There's the great Gary Gate himself with the flow going in the back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Garrett does have quite a hairdo going these days. Uh, uh, I actually, if you recall, was one of the coaches of the Philadelphia Wings. Gary was one of our players. In fact, then in a much more conservative haircut. Now he's going a little more a little more high action. And you speak about great Philadelphia Wings, you know, all our thoughts and, and prayers and hope for a recovery for the great ball game. Yeah, great. One of one of the all-time great players. And maybe one of the most natural shooters I've ever seen in my life. Just such a great player. So uh, best wishes to Paul Gate. Violation pre-whistle against Delaware, and that will give Syracuse possession. I'll tell you, Booker, one of the things I've noticed early in the game Boy, Syracuse really moves the ball nicely, and they make that extra pass. They're constantly looking for like that extra angle, extra pass, which I think is really impressive, um, as opposed to being like a dodge-and-shoot type team. They're moving the ball really effectively. Bird whistle drives a lefty. And here's Stevens. And you just see the skill. Moving to open areas. Oh! Great dodge. Really good dodge. He just couldn't, he couldn't quite pull his stick all the way there with him and got checked at the last second. But nice little dodge inside and, and, and kind of a nice step through. Here's Joey Spillina. Quick movement. Hiltz gets it behind. And Cuse. Outside shot saved by Ellington. Went down low to make that save. Quick release on that one. I didn't particularly love that shot, to be honest with you, Uncle Booker. Uh, I thought that he was a little bit off balance. His body weight was going away from the goal. It was a good save, but maybe could have gotten a little more heat on that one. It's going to be a timeout, I think, for Delaware. Yeah. Timeout for Delaware as we had long stick against long stick. Never a happy mixture for a coach, especially when you trail by one against a team with firepower like Syracuse. We'll be back. So if I'm Ben DeLuca and I'm the staff at Delaware, I'd like to really get JP going and get him into the game. There's Tyler Owings, four goals on the season, shoulders in. So I'll tell you what, the tenacity of this Syracuse defense. They like to extend. I'll tell you the other thought I've had early today is it, it reminds you of the wow. Oh! Great little, oh. great little dip down before he shot that ball. Wow. Jello, let your fingers do the rock and keep that G coming all day long. John McCurry, his ninth goal of the season. Wow. 
And just like that, Jeter, we're not at a deuces. <laughs> if you, back to lacrosse. Yeah. Uh, if you watch the play here, watch this little, when McCray dips his head down, at the goalie, oh, just freezes him slightly. That was a slick little play there by McCurry. Some might say nifty. Face-off scrap. Won by Delaware. Great win by O.J. Morris. And they'll retreat. Here's Ellington. Looping pass down the side. Gets it. Now we got a little backhand flip. We got live action. Shot goal outside. Oh! Ask the people on my block. I'm as real as can be. He and Fritz, how about that? Coming right down the gut, uh, catches it. I, I think Delaware really moved the ball nicely on that clear. And they got that open lane, sort of coming down that, that right lane wing. And he puts a shot on goal, sort of the one that bounces outside the crease and above the goalie. Really good shot, good goal. Aiden Fritz, the stud out of Calvert Hall, one of those guys who showed up and said, I want to be a short stick midi. And he, and I, I talked with Here him comes a lot. Makes the catch, bounces out front. The goalie stick is below it. It bounces over the stick into the goal. And Delaware with a quick face-off violation victory. And they're now playing a little make it, take it. Delaware settles things, get their full complement of offensive players on the field. Oh, diagonal pass, stepping up the field, but no shot, and they'll get it behind. This is Ward. I'll tell you the thing that J.P. Ward showed up at Penwood, it's an unfortunate turnover. Um, he showed a really good right hand and left. He, he, he really, more than most guys, can go both ways and, and showed a lot of ability to play with both hands against the Quakers. So, Look for that today to see J.P. go left-handed and right-handed to score. And one good turnover deserves another. As both guys just took their eye off the prize. And now we have a stick with a head off it. And a nice look, and they get it to J.P. Ward. Wouldn't be surprised to see Mike Robinson get something going here as well. The thing I thought was interesting about Mike Robinson is he doesn't really force his way into the game. He lets it come to him. He's not like forcing shots and such. And when he finds his openings, he's like lethal left-handed. So if he catches it, watch out. Oh, he's up top. Hank the bank. Outside shot, whistles wide. Smart shot by Dan Brogy, right? Off, off stick side. If it goes in, great. If not, you retain possession. Great jump save by Mark on the inside roll. And now we get all kinds of chaos ensuing. They're going to reset the shot clock, and it's going to be Delaware possession with McCurry. Yeah, I don't know if you saw that, Booker, but Syracuse's goalie had made a save, and one of the Syracuse defenders just flattened a Delaware guy right in front of him. Not, not really a smart play at all, because it causes an immediate turnover. And he actually saw the goalie make the save, so I'm not quite sure what he was thinking there. Second chance possession for the Blue Hens. It's one thing to be aggressive, it's another thing to be smart and aggressive. Fake, long outside pass and shot. McCurry cannot connect, and Ward will back it up. Ward again. Inside roll, saved by Mark. He tracked that ball very well. Rebound pops up top, shot. Wide, backed up again. Great save by Will Mark. Tell you, Booker, another thing you noticed early, Delaware's winning a bunch of the ground ball scrums. When there, there's been a, there was a ground ball scrum here, there was one now. Down. They're getting the ball, they're getting, and it's really important for them to be able to continue to do that. Pump fake, and now it's Owings. Shot. Saved by Mark. He collected that one rather easily. Nice play by Syracuse to activate the great Joey Spolina. 
to help clear the ball. Could not be a nicer young man, a, just a nice gentleman. As a sophomore in college, he carries himself with tremendous class. It's refreshing, too, because Joey's been famous since he was about in the 10th grade. Yeah. So the fact that he's such a wonderful, nice guy and cares about other people, I think, is really impressive. They're hung again, right? So now the Syracuse yeah. guys in front can cut as, as much and as often as they want until they force. And now we get an interesting player in the crease, and that's going to be a penalty. I agree with the call. Maceo Parker stepping in to make that call. I think it was an accident, right? Because the Syracuse player was cutting, had gotten in front of him, and then stopped. And the Delaware player kind of bumped into him from behind. And so I, I don't think he meant to hit him. It just it was two bodies collided at him at the wrong moment if you're Delaware, at the right moment if you're Syracuse. Technical foul, 30 seconds with 2.35 to go here in the first quarter. Booker and George Corey. Here comes the cut. He stops, and it almost forces the guy to push him. Like, he he kind of stand, and he finished the check a little bit, too. Hilt's behind. Diagonal pass, Spillane, a quick shot off the post. Oh, what a save by Ellington, my goodness. Oh, you want some turkey with that stuffing. Wow. That save may end up on a highlight reel somewhere. And the Delaware bench is enthusiastic. Enthusiastic, they're going nuts, Booker. <laughs> That's a great <laughs> save by Kevin Ellington. Here's That's a the type of save we were talking about. Great diagonal Shot. pass, boom. That's the one rebound. save. Yep. Boom! <laughs> that is an incredible save. Great highlight, too, guys. Thank you for yep. that. Kevin Ellington, say it with your chest. I don't know why, but the Syracuse coaches are really angry about a call. Gary Gate, who is, does not complain a lot, uh, seems very upset by a call that just, that just happened. Delaware back on offense. Hold the 3 2 lead. JP Ward shot inside, shot goal. Let your fingers do the rock and keep that G coming all day long. Another situation where, uh, you know, JP was behind the goal. Syracuse defensive was hung, meaning he couldn't get around the crease. That gives him free reign to just keep looking to see someone open. The cut comes down the back side. Again, quick catch, cut, finish. It's really well done. Here's JP. Defenseman's hung if you can see him there. Catch, goal. So um, easy assist for JP Ward. Nice catch and finish. He actually owned twins. That was Cam. And we're right back in the face off and done. Syracuse wins the ensuing face off. And this is Michael Leo. Shares it with Thompson. Drive to the cage with the right hand. And again, that diagonal pass. They like that one. They like that diagonal look. Oh, a little give and go. Off the mark. That's the second shot. I think Michael Leo is quite a good shooter, actually. That's the second shot he put over the goal that he could have really finished. So yep. um, he's got to adjust that shot just a little bit to, be, to, to make sure it goes in the goal, not over. Yeah, the old adage, make the goalie make a save. Here's Spillina, eyes up the whole time. He moves it behind, shot goal, that's quick lacrosse. So much funk in his bag. Finn Thompson celebrates with Christian Boulay. Great play by Finn Thompson. Um, again, I'm impressed with how Syracuse moved the ball. If we get the highlight here, you'll see that the ball flows its way back to X. Finn Thompson cuts right-handed. He gets him. You only need to be open just by a little teensy bit to catch the ball and then quickly finish. And here it is. 
17 seconds left. Great cut, finish. Catching the ball with their feet moving and your hands free. If you don't think that's awesome, you need awesome lessons. Spolina, quick to go to the cage, protects the stick. Oh, and takes a shoulder. Flags fly everywhere. Four seconds left in the quarter. Wow, that was a hard hit. Uh, we'll see how, I, I don't know if it was high. Just, he caught him lunging into the shot. Let's Here see it here again, we get a better angle from this side. It didn't look like it got him in the head. It was a really hard hit. It's Louis Atkinson, uh, number 40 for Delaware. He went to Haverford School, so I've seen that kid play a lot over his lifetime. He's an outstanding football player, and he's a really physical lacrosse player, and I'm sure he's about to get that maybe two minutes. Who knows what they're going to call. You're going full-time serve, two minutes. And we certainly hope nothing but the best for Joey Spillane. I hope Joey's okay. They're, you, you can see that they're, they're bringing him off the field now with one of the Syracuse training staff. Uh, that was a really hard hit. I hope he's going to be okay. They have four seconds left in the period. So we'll get the full between quarter break to shake it. And Syracuse is going to maintain possession to start the second quarter. A great first quarter, seven total goals, four of them for Delaware. As they lead 4-3, to three, the number 20 ranked team in the country, leading the number six ranked Syracuse Orange. We are in Chantilly, Virginia, all the sixth. Great day for lacrosse. First quarter in the books. And I got to tell you, George, that first quarter was a little bit like a Pink Floyd album. They had some really good stuff at times, but there were some other moments where you just kind of didn't know where they were coming from. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I've not ever listened to a full Pink Floyd album, but I will agree with you that there were some fits and starts there. I'll be curious if Joey is smoking is not, he's not coming out, which is not a great sign uh, because they're actually for two full minutes. So, um, you know, for the people just joining, uh, there was a two minute full time serve foul called against Delaware. So Syracuse could score as many goals as they want over the next two minutes if they can continue to win face offs and score. So and this I'm looking, could be a crucial part of the game. I'm looking down the side, seeing Joey Spillina jogging off out of the bench area, going underneath the stadium. There's no NFL blue tent for us to watch him go into, but basically the equivalent of that for right now. Syracuse on the man advantage, and now they're Shot clock. Reset the shot clock to 56, please. Hey, she's all the way back to the Referee Maceo Parker. At one point, the Syracuse bench was so disappointed about a call. They started giving a little bit to the box official, Bootsy Collins, your box official today. And here goes Syracuse with the shot clock in proper working order. Second quarter set to go. So Syracuse hit kind of a, a three good little back pick there. Great save, really good save. Kevin now what's going to be interesting here, Booker, is can Delaware hold the ball for the full 80 seconds and kill a big yeah. piece of this two-minute penalty? Or do they turn it over? So they're going to have to really hustle the whole possession and use as much of that 80 seconds as they can. So far, they get a piece of the puzzle in place with the clear. That's John Shiver, number 33. He looks to be like a speed guy that can just run all day long. And that's what they're trying to do. The ball's double. Uh-oh, here comes the turnover. That's what I was worried about for Taylor. Could they hold it? Uh, now they get the long stick coming over in the form of Sam Alexo. So you're now passing just under 14 minutes. So probably at least a minute, maybe a little more of that two-minute penalty is gone 
it would be really surprising, Booker, if Syracuse didn't score at least once. I'd be quite surprised by that. Jay Stevens, number 14, checks into the game and gets the ball. Syracuse going 3-3. Finn Thompson's pass goes to the sideline. And now we get a whistle. It's going to be a reset of the 62nd variety as Hiltz gives it to Thompson. English down the wing. Now back up to him. Outside shot, scorcher! You better hit the bullseye. The kid don't play. Yeah, you had to figure sooner or later with a full two-minute extra man situation that Syracuse was going to score at least once. And, you know, they have to face off and they're still man up. Here comes the highlight. You'll see number 77, Owen Hills, very left-handed, great shooter. Just catches, gets a good clean look at the goal, and just stuffs one in the top, top corner to tie the game for all for the keeps. Score now four to four, and still a man up face off for Syracuse. Syracuse and a nice face off win. Great play by Mason Cohn. You talked about him in the open, and that was a, cru a clutch face-off victory for the Orange. And they will take a timeout to talk things over. Great play by Kevin Ellington, but sometimes when Hiltz is winding up, you just don't have much of a chance. Because I know everyone's a little curious, I've been looking down that Syracuse bench and have not seen number 22, Joey Spallina, return to the bench area. Yeah, just we, we were at the break there, Booker, and I was wondering. I can't, I don't know where Joey is, but you talk about a player that has 23 goals and 29 assists coming into this game. He probably leads the nation in points. Yep. And, uh, you know, it's just such a major piece of your offense that all of a sudden disappears. It'll be interesting to see, like, how this is going to play out. Yep. You know, even their extra man looks a little bit off kilter without Joey there because he's such a key part of that extra man unit. So it'll be, it'll be very curious to see how that alters the game if he, in fact, does not come back at all in the second half. And it's a, it's a fine line for Coach Gary Gate because, yes, you're playing Delaware, you want to be Delaware, but you also have the entirety of your ACC schedule in front of you. Still on the man up. His cue's picked off pass. And a nice check. And it's going to be off of Syracuse Delaware ball. Great Jimmy Lafredo doing some help there on the sideline. Ellington does the right thing to clear it up the off bench side. Always been the formula. Yeah. Away from the bench. Away from the substitution box. Away from where a lot of the action happens in the game of lacrosse. Brendan Powers comes in and gets it over to number four, Nick Jessen. Jessen accelerates lefty. Extended man up. It's been a while since Delaware's been on offense. Great slide, great double by Syracuse there. John McCurry retreats and gets it to Ward. Ward being leaned into by Billy Dwan. That was really good defense, yeah. by the way. Well, his dad was one of the best defensemen of his time. The great Bill Dwan? Great Bill Dwan. Shot inside, goal, 5-4. It's got to be jelly, because jam don't shake like that. Great ball movement by the Blue Hens. Yeah, and, and you know, Delaware it, it holds their momentum, right? They two man down, sorry, a man down for a full two minutes. 
That's a worrisome situation. They only give up one. Now they're able to get back in the game. Here comes the highlight. You see the catches it right-handed, quickly gets rid of it. Perfect off-stick side shot about halfway up the pipe. For the younger kids watching, that's the perfect spot to shoot in. Maccioni with his second goal of the day. Syracuse wins the faceoff, and here's Thompson. Thompson right-handed comes back lefty, but stays. That dominant hand. find the right matchup. I think they're also trying to play without Joey. I mean, I, I think they're very used to Joey quarterback in this group. And so it looks like being Christian Ulay will be behind to play that role. Inside feet between the legs shot. And Ulay with the backup. That was Sam English with the yeah. between the leg shot. Maybe trying to put a little English on it, so yeah. to speak. Great rebound attempt, and that's going to be a crease violation. You know, you talk about Sam English. He and uh, Syracuse player Jake Stevens were teammates of Mike Robinson's from Delaware. They all played at Culver Academy together. Nice to get those guys back. Coach John Posner did a fabulous job with Culver now running the Lawrenceville School. Lawrenceville School. And their famous treasured alumnus, the great Pete Nigerian. Not to mention the great Hank Smith. Here's Dan Barogi, who opened the scoring today. Splits left to left. Oh, inside feed shot. What a save by Mark. Goodness. Not you, fat Jesus. Slide it on back. That was, <laughs> a, that was a great save. I got to tell oh. you, if you're Delaware, you need to finish that. Because he was wide open had all day, could have easily faked, even faked twice to get the goalie to move to create that open space in the goal. He hit him right in the leg. And from that close in, you know, at this level of lacrosse, you really need to finish that one. And that was a great touch pass by Hank D'Ambrosio. It was a beautiful pass from Those can be hard to handle coming from the midfield down to the crease area and from high to low. Those are difficult passes to handle at times. Well passed, well caught, just was not well finished. Hank D'Ambrosio, the son of a coach, state championship winning coach Mark D'Ambrosi. Also played his club ball for those Rough Riders. And Syracuse now back on it. On the O. Birch whistle. Shoulders in, stays right handed. Right handed again. Double comes, throws back into it. Wind up shot. Blocked in front and another shot. That second shot opportunity was so far right, I think Michael Moore's gonna do a documentary about it. <laughs> I, uh, I, I think the first one hurt. Like, I, I don't know who that hit in front, but that had plenty of mustard on it, and it hit somebody right like in the shoulder. Another save by Ellington, and he is having a day. Intensity and urgency has picked up. Nice play there by Mike Robinson to help the clear Booker. He was in attack position, came flying right up the wing, showed himself and showed his stick, caught the pass and, and it settled the ball down to create more offense for Delaware. Very helpful play by Mike Robinson. Probably something learned from John Posner. Delaware. Patient, 40 seconds still on the shot clock. Here's J.P. Ward. Guarded by Dwan. Dwan gets picked off a little bit. Nice slide to help yeah. there by Syracuse. They're, they're ready to go, and then and will go, and then they're going to replace nicely from behind. It went Jesse. again right there. Inside feed, bobbled, and collected. And Will Mark pushes it up, and here we go. Here is Billy Duan. Duan, shot, goal! Oh my goodness, hold your nose, because here goes the cold water. 
Billy Dwan's ready to take on the Catalina wine mixer. Great by it's Billy that, Dwan. Yeah, wine mixer. I'll tell you what it was, too. It was a really good look up the field by the goaltender for Syracuse. Um, I didn't know if he saw him. It was a great outlet right on the, like, literally right on the butt with, with speed on it. He catches it. Here comes Billy. Good hard stick fake. Shot. Goal. And those, you know, those long stick goals are always big momentum goals. You can see Billy Dwan smiling and jumping up and down. So maybe Wait, that will ignite the He orange. was also scoring against his former high school teammate. Billy Dwan, Kevin Ellington both played at Loyola at the same time. And a turnover by Delaware gives it right back to Syracuse. Is that number 22? And that, that is, is, in fact, Joey Spillina is back. Joey Spillina back. Number 22 is out there on the field. Could either one of us be more excited about him being okay? <laughs> Not, it, it, you know, it's a better game with him in it, but it's also, it's a better game knowing he's healthy. Spillina, left-handed shot. Oh, hitting the pipe like Wesley Snipes in New Jack City. Just rang one right off the pipe. Uh, and it's good to see Joey come out aggressively. He's a defenseman's hung against you. You see Syracuse plays cutting like crazy. Just to see if they can get an open space goal. Just like Shot that. Goal. Spillina, welcome back. We were Cinco to Tayo. It's now 6 5 in favor of the Orange. In their home whites, Delaware. Again, in their highlighter yellow. Here's Joey behind. The defenseman's hung, so now you can just keep cutting all day long. Spins off a pick down the backside. Easy pass, easy catch, easy goal. It's a really good play by Joey. And I'll tell you the one thing, Booker, they have Sir Delaware's defensemen have to stop getting hung in front of them. You can't yes. let Joey stand there by himself. That is not a formula for success. Yeah. He's proven that a yeah. couple times already today. Here is Spillina. Gets it to another long stick. Gobbled up by Ellington. Long looping pass, throw into space. And now we got some chaos. Oh! A little desk pop right there. And now we have a Delaware player who's down. It was kind of a chaotic play. There's a flag. It was on a really the field. hard hit by yeah. Billy Dwan. Really hard. And how he's complaining on that call, I have I absolutely no idea. I don't know if he's complaining as much as he's saying sorry. The Delaware player is okay, leaves off his own power. Interesting. Uh, I thought that'd be a, 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 a very similar call to the first one, a two minute under this one, but um, it's a one minute call. Delaware coming out in a circle, which you don't see a lot of an extra man, so they're obviously going to cut it and reform to a different formation. But they're in a circle now. Now they're moving into a... Now it's a 1-4-1 one, one with two crease inside. Here's JP. Nice play by JP to move it, and a nice save Great of save. the ball by Brendan Powers. That could have been a throwaway. Here's Powers. Outside shot. Hits Mark in the leg. Mike Robinson with the outside shot, but that was a little bit too far. Will Mark's going to make that save all day long. 99 times out of 100. Not the greatest extra man play no. I've ever seen in my whole life. Um, it didn't ever seem to get the looks they were hoping to get. Didn't get the angles. And they kind of forced one from the outside that Will Mark saw the whole way. And so, again, not a signature moment for extra man plays for Delaware. Or for, yeah, for Delaware. 5-10 now to go here in the first half. Syracuse with possession on a one-goal lead. Booker and George Corrigan bringing in the call from Paul the Sixth, the Panthers. Luke McGuire Stadium. Michael Leo plays a little flip. And now they're slinging from outside. Ellington gobbles that one up. They're going to Delaware with the dive. Good Gets hustle possession. by Delaware. I'll tell you who I'm impressed by in this game so far, Booker, is Kevin Ellington. He's really making good saves and holding his team in. Both goalies are making nice saves, but 
I think Kevin Elton really distinguishing himself, making really good stops and keeping the Delaware Blue Hens right in this ball game. Delaware comes in ranked number 20 after a close loss to Penn and then a, another loss by a couple more goals to Michigan. Syracuse comes in with their number six ranking. Delaware on offense. Curry looking. I'll tell you the guy I was looking for was Jason Kolar, number 20 for Delaware. I've not seen him today. I hope he's not hurt. He was really effective against yeah. Penn and very impressive. Here's Jason. Going against the long stick. Fakes right, goes left. Diagonal pass, shot gets off. And they have 22 seconds on the shot clock. 340, excuse me, 40 in the quarter. Great check by Syracuse. And Billy Dwan. And there he goes with more stick work. Made a little hockey play here, and there is plenty Pass of time break. left. Crystal clear 4-3. Oh, good sub by Delaware to, to stop that break. Really effective hustle by the Delaware player to, to sub through the box, allowing their long stick to get a break out of the other side of the box and stop the clear 4-3. on three. That was a very important play. It was hard to see that for the viewers, but a very effective play by Delaware. Luke Rowe. Sharing it with Jake Stevens. And here's Spillina behind. Goes right handed. Gets a little sliver of an opening. Flips it shot. Save Ellington. Punches that out with his left hand. Oh, a great ground ball great and ground. a great dodge by number 16, Patrick Gillen. That's Patrick Gillen, another Philly kid from Hartford School. That was a great ground ball and a great dodge out of trouble to clear himself into open space, find an open man, bump it along, and get the ball cleared. Very, very good play. As the clock winks down towards the two-minute mark here in the first half, one goal game. I think Dan Brogy can go to the hoop. He's got the short stick against him. He's got a lot of confidence right now. We've got Jake Stevens playing him. Throws the feed, Whoa. shot goes. Head of the stick goes flying. And it looks like Gabby Rowe is going to go down and pick it up off the sideline there. I don't know how that head came off because, as most people know, they're screwed in. You know, the, the head is screwed to the shaft. It's hard to understand how that came off, but it came flying off upon the release of that shot. Delaware 37 seconds on the shot clock here. Ward, nice looping pass. Mark punches out the save, and Syracuse collects the rebound, and they get it quickly to a short stick. And now they can play. I thought J.P. Ward had plenty of time to keep coming there, Booker. I mean, it was a good pass, but I thought he could have come around left hand and scored himself. I thought he had the space. Here's my guy, Joey Spillina, being patient. Michael Leo, number seven. Rolls back, gets it to Finn Thompson. Thompson, goal line extended, gets it to Spolina again. Defender hung up again. This has not worked well for Toshi. You've seen a lot of picking and cutting by Syracuse. Nobody's gotten open this time. Behind the back, offering well wide. I bet Syracuse has shot the ball behind their back more than any team in the cross oh. history. Sure. Bar none. Shot clock at 19. Spelina to inbound. Oh, <laughs> he gets one off. Talk about creativity. Okay. The Blue Hens looking like they had a chance. They still do. Ball lobbed into the middle, another behind the back. Now we got a little two-on-two -two lacrosse. 
inside oh. feed goes awry. Delaware comes away with a long pass. And the clock ends. The half comes to an end. Wow. And Delaware had one in the chamber. Goodness. Syracuse up 6-5 here in Chantilly. This is College Cross Live brought to you by CSE TV. For everything you need, Korean sports. Where Syracuse game two top 20 teams going at it on College Lacrosse Live. Next week it'll be Duke against Denver, but we still have some unfinished business. And George, just like the rug ties the room together, halftime highlights and stats tie the game together. 6 5 Syracuse in the lead, and we got some great highlights and moments that will be remembered in this great sport as Dan Brogy gets things started. You'll see some highlights here, Booker, where you'll see Joey Spolina uh, looking for people and the Delaware defense is hung on the front crease. They've got to stop that. They've got to play him from behind. It'll be big trouble. And great finish there uh, with, a, with a little head dip by McCurry. Here comes the defensive line. Uh, their, their short six specialist scoring a goal. Aiden Fritz. Great save. Here comes an incredible save. Wow, that was an incredible save by Kevin, Kevin Ellington. Yep. Little Kev couldn't get his hands on that one, and we are ready to get the second half started. Thank you so much to our great executive producer, Mr. Ryan Corrigan. Of course, the son of the godfather himself, Richard Lee Corrigan. Wait, Delaware won that draw to Booker and they couldn't pick it up and it goes to Syracuse. Mason Cone comes away and Ellington gives up another long pole goal. That time it looked like Sam Alexo loves to play that wing out of Archbishop Spalding High School. Tell you, uh, Delaware had that, the draw was won cleanly and, um, uh, and OJ Morris just couldn't pick it up. And then all of a sudden, Syracuse follows by picking that ball up. New, new faceoff man for Syracuse here. It looks like number 36, John Mullen. Uh, sorry, Steve Schmidt won the faceoff. And Syracuse now back, ready to run. They love to put the pedal to the metal. Comes Delaware on offense, their first offensive possession. You know, you talk with Coach Ben DeLuca, and he talks about the great glue players, the guys who help keep the team together and just give you everything they have. And of course, Nick Fish, who's just one of those career juniors, great player, son of the great Brad Fish, the guy who could want a generational star. Save by Mark. That's really good save by Will Mark, and a nice cutting play by Delaware, too. You know, as the game goes on, face-offs, goaltending are so important, but it's really also, and nobody talked about this, it's quality of shooting, right? Smart shot, they're put in smart places, off stick side, dip head low, sh dip head down, shoot high. Like, so the quality of shooting as we, as we move on is gonna matter a lot for the outcome. Here is Michael Leo, left-handed, lean shoulder in, Gets it, and again, shot so far wide. Backed up by Spillina. I think we both agree, Booker. Joey looks fine. He does not yep. look like he's playing hurt or he's you know, favoring one of his arms. Feels like he's back to his normal self. And he now gets the short stick defenseman, John Schiebert. And again, always head up. Looks like he wants the pass first, score second. A driving to the ground, but a shot off of his tookus by Christian Moulet. Tell you, Delaware plays physical ball, man. They, they'll hit, 
They'll knock people down. They'll go after people. Um, I did think that was a correct call. Though. I thought yeah. that was a penalty for sure. It's a push. It's only 30-second technical foul. See how few passes Syracuse can get their shot off here because you know they want to make something happen very quickly. Here's Hiltz. We'll pump fake. And now it's Spillina. Oh, what a feed and great handle by Michael Leo. Wow. Leo underneath. He's got hands like a moil. <laughs> Unbelievable control right there. It's a really nice diagonal look, too, from that top side. Uh, and that ball was zipped. So Michael Leo had to really do well to handle that. Once he got it in his stick, you had to figure it was going to be all over very quickly. And you do like the fact that he accurately does have hands like a moil. Here he comes. Look Zip on the diagonal. Catch. Boom. Very, very efficient. Great pass, too. And they call Syracuse for leaving early or violation. They're going to take it all the way back to the faceoff dot. Actually, both teams left early, so they could have called that one actually either way. Fortunate for Delaware, they called it against Syracuse. And here's D'Ambrosi and Accione. Largest lead of the game for Syracuse. Behind with Ward. Comes out right and takes a little lumber. Now back guarded by Dwan. Pump fake, sh backhander. Where's oh. Billy the backhander when you need him? Off the post. That was a very creative shot. It, it, it beat the goalies, hit the post, and didn't, it didn't go in. Billy backhander. Here goes Mike Robinson against the short. Robinson stutter steps, comes out righty. Now you can tell he wants to get to that left side. Good ball moving around the outside, but they're not able to really get into the, the teeth of the defense. McCurry now on the end line. He now has the short stick coming from behind. Guarded by Jake Spillina. There are three Spalinas on the Syracuse team. Brett and Jake, the twins, and then of course Joe. Seven seconds on the shot clock, Booker, coming from behind. So if you're JP, what are you going straight to the goal and try to make something oh, yeah. happen? Oh, yeah. There you go. Just sling it. And they're going to get credit with the backup. But there is a full one second on the shot clock. So this ball will be lofted into the corner. And Delaware will get all their riding, talented young men out on the field. And now they're going to back them all the way up. Make sure they have the field right. Delaware in a dropped off ride here, Booker. What they try to do is pinch the middle and kind of yeah. and cram the space down. In that case, uh, number one from Syracuse got open nicely. Found Jake the ball. Spillina. Caught it, got it cleared very efficiently. Boom, done. Nice job by Jake. Here comes Burt Whistle, Radner product. And now Luke Roa. Great touch pass. Hilt's back. Oh, yeah. Oh, goodness. That Owen, was beautiful. Owen Hiltz. Great lefty shooter. Canadian. Gets it. Uh, in, you and I both know Paul Gate, Gary Gate. They, they want to stay left handed. And if they need to shoot a different way, they're going to shoot behind their back. Yeah. It's very normal. Uh, here comes the ball. It gets rotated nicely. Great little swing cut there by Joey. Here comes Hills off the catch. Bang. 
and Delaware's gonna take a timeout. They trail nine to five. 10 minutes and some change remaining here. Third quarter, four goal lead for the Cuse. Nine to five, Syracuse in the lead. Delaware sends out a new faceoff guy in the form of Nick Bulger out of Calgary, Alberta. He got it done. <laughs> I, I'll tell you the thing I'm worried about here, Booker, is if you're Delaware, you've got to work your way back in this game because Syracuse is always like fed on momentum. They're great scorers. They're up by four. This is a key moment for Delaware to regain their footing, try to score a couple of goals, get a stop on defense, and work their way back in. You don't want to see it get to 10-5, 11-5, 12-5. Doing a nice job of moving the ball inside, and another save by Will Mark. <laughs> Great take by JP Ward, but he just he shot it where he was instead of shooting it where they're not. Well said. Uh, he shot it right where he was, and that was kind of what I was talking about. Right, that's the shot they needed. They, need, they needed that one to go to gain footing and gain momentum, and just get their confidence back. And there's failure to advance the 60, the 80 second clock once it gets to 60. And here's a quick restart. McCurry takes a little bit of lumber. Second chance possession now for the Hens. And we're going to get a full reset of the shot clock to 80. They get it. Patrick Gillen, son of the great Steve Gillen. Hereford product. And here come the Blue Hens. Machiel pushes it all the way behind the cage. Hitch move gains nothing. But he could have stepped through and crossed the other direction, so as opposed to staying left-handed there. But Syracuse's defense is also playing better. They feel like they're really locked in right now. And goaltender Will Mark will help you play a little bit better. When you know you got a hot goal, you take a little bit more of a chance, and sometimes they pay off. J.P. Ward. Again, guarded by Dwan. Nice under move, D'Ambrosi shot, saved. Outside shot, never makes it. Another great play by a long stick. Alexo gets it off and Ellington equal to the task and we are now in a track meet. Here we go, we're going up and down. JP Ward touches it in. Big save there by Kevin Ellington yep. at a time when they really needed it. Owings in with Action. Inside shot. Oh. Curry guilty of intentional grounding. Spikes the ball over the cage. The old intentional. How oh, interesting timeout by Syracuse there. It's really interesting. Syracuse. Settle their guys down, figure out what they have, figure out what they don't have. We'll step away. Delaware on offense. They need one. 7-17 to go third quarter. Four plays a very, you know, they're, they play people and they come at you. They're coming and they're running. It's, I think it's really admirable that they play that many folks and, and let those kids play and let them run. And that's Coach DeLuca and his tremendous staff knowing that that's what it takes to build a program, the great coach Trey Wilkes, of course, Matt Rakowski, and here's J.P. Ward. Ward again tries that wrap around, goes wide, it's backed up by Cam Accione. But J.P. had a little space there. Sometimes he just shoots early, 
think they're going to go again with J.P. Ward. Mason with a great quick dodge, but gives it back over. Shot clock now at 15. Inside feed too hot to be handled. And now with and they're going to say it was thrown away. No tip. Syracuse ball. And Gary Gate gets the defensive stop that he got the used stop the time he wanted. Out for. Yeah. So it pro it proves to work. And you know they're down at it. You know five six minutes in the third quarter. They're up nine five. They have the ball on offense with a full you know seven eighty seconds. Shot clock. Thompson up top. Here's Leo. Mule gets it to Spelina coming out of the middle there. Shows you how much that offense rotates without the ball. Great backup Great back by the up. Delaware defender, Joe Spears. Joe was anticip he anticipated the shot well, took off like a rocket for the back line. Big dive, backed up the shot. Helpful for Delaware. And Delaware again effectively clearing the ball up the far side. And here's Owings. Gets it to Hank D'Ambrosi. D'Ambrosi breaking ankles like Kathy Bates. Eric Pass. It's a couple in a row for Delaware where they've turned the ball over. It was just sort of some not so sharp passing. And uh, this is not the right time for that yeah. if, you're, if you're Delaware. Burt was some of the short. Yeah, yeah. Short on him. It was a big deal made online at social media forums that he picked up his first career assist. Oh, a little backhander. Burt's whistle somewhere around the 55 goals and no assists. But he picked up his first. And there was jubilation. Here's Spillina. Oh, look at what he does. That's so filthy. Get back, young son. You don't know me like that. Joey Spillina. Joey Spillina. Our mother, blessed mother of acceleration. Don't fail us now. You know, he's showing, he shows right, he shows left. I love the way he's always looking up when he's got the ball. Yep. He's always looking to see who's open at all times. A great thing for the kids watching today. Watch the way he looks. His head is always looking for that next pass. And we're right back to the faceoff dot is now Syracuse doubling up Delaware. Here's Joey, patient. Not in a rush. Goal. Delaware wins the ensuing faceoff, but the swarm of Syracuse Orange comes away with possession, and Owen Hiltz will collect things. And I'm not really sure what Syracuse is doing at the, at the logo. But Getting things reset, and here we go at the start. Mule pulls back righty and lefty. Shoulders in. And they're going to call a crease violation. For sure, yeah. Syracuse has dialed up the riding pressure, Book, if you've noticed that. They're, they're, they're really being much more aggressive on the ride. It's caused some, it's just caused some problems for Delaware to try to get the ball cleared successfully. And it's very rattling when you have people chasing you like that going nuts. Puts Delaware in an uncomfortable position.
Delaware on offense. Down 10-5. Shot saved by Will Mark. Went down low to make the save. Will Mark from California. Northern California, how about that? He's making a lot of nice saves. Yeah. Looks very comfortable in the goal. Right coach by the great Matt Oglesby out there in NorCal. The spread of the game is real. Jitterbug for Birch Whistle. He gets it all the way up to Boule, and now they're going to get it behind to Spillina. Nice roll. Spillina shoulders in. Oh, goodness. Oh, what a save by Ellington. Wow. Needed that one, <laughs> yeah. too. Good, really good uh, move to the goal by Joey. He uses his body well. Like, he almost uses his body to, to, to push off the defender. And he can, he's very comfortable going body to body and understanding where his defender is and using that leverage. It's very impressive. Great save, too, by Kevin Ellington. Dan Brogy. Comes out lefty, looking to feed, finds the open man. One more pass. J.P. Ward again coming around that left side. Gets a little caught up in it. And Great comes ground. out with the ground ball. Great ground ball, though, by J.P. Ball in Great. and out of the stick. And that's going to be a push. Smart play by the sophomore, D'Ambrosi. Again, son of a coach. Get the loose ball, pull up, get pushed. It's like the easiest it's call on the cross, too, when you yeah. think about it, Booker. Yep. Twizzler shot by Robinson. An easy save for Will Mark. Will Mark's seen it really well right now. He's seen the ball well. I see it coming out. He's in the right positions. He's playing very, very well. 33 seconds left in the third quarter. Booker and George Corrigan here bringing it to you. College Lacrosse Live. We have Duke Denver next week from Archbishop Spalding High School. And you can see the festive atmosphere here. And oh, Ellington with two saves. I don't know how he did it. Dan Brogy takes the lumber right at the end of the quarter. And that'll do it. 10 to 5 year score. Syracuse finding ways to make things happen every chance they get an opportunity. Great donation by Corrigan Sports Enterprises. The Headstrong Foundation took place between quarters as we are at College Cross Live, and there's the Syracuse defense that played remarkably well, including goaltender Will Mark, in that third quarter, but they're gonna get tested right away. Shot! God, another save. Oh, Mark kicks it out. And we're getting a full reset of the shot clock. Attendance today, over 1,500 folks. Coming to see a game here, Paul the Sixth. Dave, you watch that last save, Booker. Yeah, you know I call it a game for Penn, and Emmett Carroll has had just an unreal year. He makes a lot of saves with his legs, and that was a, he looked almost exactly like Emmett Carroll is comfortable, just very comfortable using his legs to make that save. And it was clearly intentional, yep. it was not yep. an accident. Delaware with renewed urgency. Robinson, shoulders in. Oh, what a play. It didn't take his time. And Will Mark's going to get credit for another save. 
tried the one-timer. But he had so much more time there than that situation. Not totally sure what he was thinking, but uh, he kind of tried to deflect it almost in a hockey-type hockey, hockey yeah. type style and didn't really get a lot of heat on it. Will Mark will get credit for the save, but it yeah. could have done a lot more with that one. Here's English for the Orange. Stutter Steps gets his right hand. Lay with a great catch to save possession. Spelina tries to catch that while attacking the front of the cage. It got knocked down by Delaware's Matt Montgomery. Nice play to regain possession. Good smart play by Joey to stay on top of that ground ball and, smooth and get everything smooth and under control again. And there you see Spelina using his body to allow himself to gain ground. What you were talking about earlier. Just like yeah. He uses it so well. He... Oh! Go on and rip that corner to hell so I can wake up in the morning with a story to tell. Oh! Great shot. Filthy. What he just did to that corner is illegal in six counties. He's going to get charged with destruction of property. Just a great righty catch shoot. Finish. Here it is. Yep. Boom. Oh. Great shot by Sam English. Very well done. Syracuse wins on a violation, and they are now rolling heavy like Danson and Highsmith. Saved by Ellington. No one else credited with the assist. I'll tell you what, Sam English is going to relive that shot plenty of times. Roa. Stutter steps, comes out righty. And he's gonna carry. He's got really quick feet. Oh, he really he uses his feet and his legs well. Here he is now behind with a short. Multi-sport athlete in high school. Nice save by Ellington. Ball goes on the turf. And Ellington i tell you what, they love clearing up the far side of the field. That they do. <laughs> Absorbs the contact. Defensive short stick midi. My man Jake Spelina. Talk about at that time of a game when you, you kind of need a goal. Delaware gets a goal right now. They need one. Ward again drives around lefty. Kind of heaves that ball at that side. Dan Brogy. Thought about it. Yeah. He gave it a think. And the bounce shot goes finally to Paris Hilton. Just what Delaware needed. That was Tyler Owings. Boy, they needed that book just, just for momentum, yep. confidence. You know, it's hard coming back, you know, five, six goals down. It's just literally you've got to think about it one at a time. And now all of a sudden it's 11 6. You get the next one. And you're going to build even more and more momentum, more confidence. Also starts with face-offs, which is going to be a crucial part of the game going forward. Violation against Syracuse. And Delaware's double pulling the wings, so there's a little delay in getting Cam Accion over to pick up the ball. What do you think of the whole double pulling the wings thing? What's your thought on that? If your face-off guy's struggling in any way, that's not a bad way to do it. Syracuse is now going to get a penalty. 
for running over the pick guy. You know, it's about time. They've blown up the pick guy like 10 times. I mean, <laughs> it's about time they call that. Syracuse has gotten away with that several times. And that was the first U Delaware goal since the 11-50 mark of the second quarter. Oh, really? That's a dry spell. Yeah, that is a dry spell by any standard. Kind of but, like, kind of like me in high school. Um, <laughs> did you play high school lacrosse? I can't remember. I was talking about some other, <laughs> another category. Uh, okay, so Delaware coming out. Um, they've got a full minute extra man. It's also interesting as well. As the sun's going down, I'd be curious to see if that affects either one of the goalies because it's coming from our left to our right. A lot of movement right now. Outside shot from an angle like that. Stick side on Will Mark. Not the strategy. No. No, that's not going to get it done. And that's a push from behind with possession. And Syracuse just piling on right now. You get a freebie, so you, you can really do whatever you want. They didn't do a lot with their freebie. But uh, you know, when you've got the flag down, you can attack the goal, get turned over, yep. the other team can't advance it. to go fourth quarter. Booker and George Corrigan bringing you the call. Thank you for making us part of your sports viewing day. The number six team in the country, Syracuse Orange, imposing their will on the Delaware Blue Hens. They're the number 20 ranked team in the country. Here's Spalina. Oh! <laughs> Sting in that corner for all the right reasons. I'm going to set up shop up atop the Four Seasons. Well, that was a nice <laughs> shot by Owen Hills. It's almost a repeat of a goal that was scored at that same end in the second quarter. But Syracuse, they, they, they do a very good job of pulling the weight of the defense over to the righty side. It just leaves those left. You can see it gets pulled over. And now there's the lefty side open. Boom. Very interesting how they, they sort of just pull the defense, the, the, the Delaware defenders to their right, which then leaves the opposite side of the backside open for Hiltz and for Leo, the two left, yep. seven and 77. Syracuse playing, make it, take it right now. Down low, shot, goal, Syracuse, Hiltz, two in a row. This is how they play, you know, it's almost classic Syracuse, right? They, they're momentum players and they feed on momentum. And, like moving the ball and scoring. This is a beautiful goal. The number of passes, then Hiltz gets it in open time and space and just ropes one in the goal. The last one went high, this one comes low. Great pass, takes a look, goal. Very calm, confident, good shot. There he is, Owen Hiltz. His bank rolls on swope. And now we had a violation against Delaware. And the Delaware defense, they really need to take a quote from Walter Sobchak. I'm talking about drawing a line in the sand, dude. Across this line, you do not. As it flips it, goes behind. And here's Joey Spalina. His game is polished. Oh. Ellington makes the save on Hiltz. That's got to feel good for Kev. Has to, yeah. Great save, too. Because Hiltz is, is a lethal left-handed shooter. 
And that time, Kevin Ellington was ready and was equal to the task. Delaware getting so many great efforts from so many great players on their squad. Aiden Fritz doing a great job every chance he gets. And still, Syracuse just distancing themselves. I feel like, I mean, obviously, uh, Will Mark is playing well, no doubt. But I feel like the quality of the shots has not been great in the second half for Delaware. Like the, the sort of the, 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 the lethal type finishing that you'd love to be able to see. So they've got to work on quality of shooting as they move forward to their season. As we like to say, don't shoot to shoot, shoot the score. Inside feed, and again, just a little sloppy. Great ground ball pickup by Cam Anchione. Defenseman's hung. J.P. Ward behind, a little sky whammy. Watch double coming. Big time. Double coming. Comes out of it, something's gotta be open here. Nice knock. Long pass, and then dropped. And we get a reset of the shot clock. Great play by Matty Wright. Great play by the short stick defender there for, for Syracuse to knock that pass down. Because yeah. if he doesn't knock it down, it's probably a goal for Delaware. Matty Wright doing the clearing duties out of the Hill Academy, the great Brody Merrill. Easily one of the top five defensemen to ever play the sport of lacrosse. As Thompson gets behind, and here is Spallina. Sharp angle shot goes wide. I was worried that was going to There's a bunch of people over there, <laughs> Booker. I was worried that was going to hit somebody. Uh, thankfully, I watched it land, and it did not. So that's the good news. Great crowd here for Hung again. Two top 20 teams. So again, you'll see a lot of cutting action from Syracuse. They've got a whole 40 seconds here. Oh man, I thought Leo was open. Fake flip to Owen Hills. <laughs> His defenders on him like glue. Delaware defending well. They're, they're not. Ooh. Leo's open. Big hit, flag flies, and Syracuse has a free possession, a little behind the back action. And it's picked up with one second on the shot clock, and now we'll learn of the foul. Five five. We were five five, and then it was six five for a while. I'm trying to see. Me. And Will Mark has been a, somewhat of the difference in the game as far as goaltending. He's making big saves, timely saves. Diagonal passes by that Syracuse offense. Knocked down. Jake Stevens shot whistles wide. Moulet with the backup. There it is again. They got him stretched over. Bam! Hiltz feeling it. They've got this spinning, cutting action down our side. We're sitting on. Uh, uh, so Syracuse is going from our right to our left, and they pull the, De the Delaware defenders over to the right, which then leaves Hiltz and Leo with those powerful lefty shots. You'll see it here again. So they spin down, and then all of a sudden that guy gets stretched. He makes the commitment. Boom. Ooh, very interesting extra man. Seems to work very effectively. Safe to say in this quarter, Owen Hiltz has been in the goodie room. Because we know you want the goodies. Thompson. 
patient. Behind to Spillane. And again, you talked about play the game with your head up. This is a clinic on how to do that. Great save. Uh, had to hurt a little bit. His, <laughs> that, had, that, that was going to sting. That was a leg save by oh, Kevin Ellington. On the way back to Newark, Delaware. Uh, but Joey, his ability to keep his head up at, at all times is really impressive. And again, for a young attackman, a really smart thing to watch. to go. Moulet fakes the behind the back. Low worm burner gathered by, it looks like Aiden Fritz now playing with a long stick. And now the flag flies. Is he gonna, Excuse me, Patrick Gillen. Is he going to call it on Gillen? Couldn't have. That looks like he's going to. I thought he was the one getting fouled as opposed to doing the fouling. We'll have to see the call here. But Syracuse is, certainly looks like they're setting up for an extra man. Yeah. Huh. Syracuse, man advantage. to both benches. Jimmy Lafredo doing a great job. Former face-off guy at Ohio Wesley. So here comes Syracuse again. Now they've got Joey down low. Usually they have him up top. Now maybe they'll spin him up. Here he comes. So he's gonna, here come they're rotating down the side. They're going to stretch. Oh, they save. Heads up. Called Gillen for delay of game. Oh, that was it, too. They had it. 44 had some really nice ground balls for Delaware today. He play, he's really a nice player. Nice dodge by Ellington. And Joe Spears. Joe Spears, number 44. Great man down effort by Aiden Fritz. Jessen looking for some kind of opening. There's the slide. And that was just an unfortunate time to slip. Yeah. Because it double was right there. Here's Billy Duan. So lob pass. Oh. And Gillen coming right out of the box. And we get Procedural violation against Syracuse, and it'll be Delaware ball. JP Ward. And here's Hank D'Ambrosi. Gets it back to Accione. Inside feed, hits the pipe. Post Malone rearing his ugly head. That's going to be a push against Delaware. Wow, Syracuse Interesting. number 34, Nathan Levin, out of window, high school, Guilford, New Hampshire. This is Thompson. It looks like they're just going to be content to kind of allow the clock to go. And not be attacking the goal too aggressively, but perhaps he will make a run. A full three second differential between the game clock and shot clock, or maybe 13. 
Yeah. Depending I, on modern math. I think it's 13, personally. Huh. But Thompson splits right to right. Long pass to Hilt. Another long pass. Way back to Thompson. Nice little dodge by Sam English to get a man to commit to him. And here's Spillane with nine on the shot clock. Doubled. And he just lobs it to the far side late in the shot clock. Booker, it has been a real pleasure to call this game with you. Yes, it has been. Yeah. Yes, on a absolutely beautiful day here in Northern Virginia. Beautiful part of the world. There's the As the clock will run down. And that'll do her. Syracuse proves their number six ranking is something they are well deserving of.